one, you need to leave. I'm not leaving, Rachel. I don't give a damn what you're trying to say. I'm, I'm staying in this house. No, you ain't. Yes, I am. I'm staying in this house. I cheated on you. That shit ain't a big deal. It's time to get over that shit. Not a big deal? Wow. Yeah, it's not a big deal. And wow. You're not, I'm not going to let you get with nobody else either. Like, that shit get ain't away that from shit, me, that, Owen. That shit ain't happening. You ain't get away from else. me. You ain't get with nobody else. Oh, okay. Okay, here. okay. You need to leave. No, I'm staying here. Leave, I'm leave. I'm not going to let it happen. 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 I'm not going to I'll beat the fuck out you, nigga. Dumb ass out of here, nigga. Dumb ass out of here, nigga. I'll beat the fuck out you, nigga. Wait, what did he do? What did he do? I don't know what the fuck. What did he do? Beat the ass out of here, nigga. He's dead. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Man, you gonna get bonded out because you can't get in route with me. You gonna get out, baby. You gonna get bonded out, baby. I promise you gonna get bonded out. I'm gonna make sure you get bonded out. I promise. <laughs> Relax, baby. <laughs> baby, I promise you, baby. I'm not gonna lie to you, baby. Why would I do that to you, baby? I, have I ever really left you for dead, baby? Anything have ever, baby. But have I? Right, baby. So stop. But stop. have I? Babe. But have I? Babe. Have I? I have. Babe, I'm not going to stop. I'm not thinking like that, all right? I'm not on that, babe. I got you. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss, babe. Babe, why are you going to face, baby? Babe, why are you going to face, baby? It's okay, baby. Man. Please don't do it to me, please. I love you. I love you too. You know, people are asking me. I can't take both of us to jail. They are. They told me to put me in jail. You told me too. You told me too. But there ain't no way they can take both of us to jail. can say what you want. Okay, I'm not understanding right, what right. you want us to listen, say, sir. Listen, listen, listen. Don't get upset, bro. I'm not upset. Right. I'm just saying I don't okay. know what you want us to say. We borrowed a car. Okay. We had no business doing that. We should have just drove our shit down here. Right. That's really what the problem is. We had no business yeah. driving the next No, oh, brother. Your, wife, your, your future wife and your kid are going to jail, man. Come outside, Jasmine. Yeah. Okay, that's the story you want to go with. Yeah. <laughs>
standing by me while I'm standing by her. As difficult as it may seem, we should all feel that we would be better people and say, oh, no, I don't want or need sex for however long it takes for you to recover. But we then live in reality where that's not true. I want to ask you this. Oh, when you say you need sex, not want it, you need it. Obviously, mm -hmm. there's things we need. We need oxygen. We need water. We need there's certain things we need in order to be able to live a, a, a healthy life. Why do you need sex? I need sex like Carlos needs mess. Girl! Ah! <laughs> Watch the full video. Make sure you go to my YouTube literally channel. Shaking. I'm literally shaking. So I just went through my man phone again, and I see he got text messages between him and some named Chantel talking about what's up, boo. Talk about I'm the baby mama. First of all, no, I'm not. I'm his whole ass girlfriend. Okay. Am I the first guy you ever been with? I was kind of scared to act on it. Y'all see this shit? Especially our first kiss. You'll get one later when we get to the gym. Oh, hell no. He got some explaining to do. Mm -mm. Hello? Excuse me. Hey, get up. Get up. I just looked through your phone and I saw some messages and I need to an answer. Get up. I just looked through your phone and I saw some messages. Who the f is Chantel? What? Who is Chantel? You said, what's up, boo? And she talking about that you just only hitting her up because something about a baby mama. So I'm just your baby mama now? I ain't never seen nothing like that. What are you talking about? Bruh, I saw the messages. Who is Chantel? She ain't nobody. Mm-hmm. That's the best that you got? I mean, she ain't, she ain't nobody. Okay, whatever. I don't believe you. You're a liar. I'm sick of you lying and cheating and manipulating me. Nobody's cheating. Okay. I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. Okay, sweetie. All right. All of that. Who? It's not even nothing that say I'm cheating. Okay, I don't care. The fact is you still entertaining and you said that you was going to stop. I don't care about none of that. Who the hell is Derek? Derek, that's my dog. That's your dog? You yes, sure? Yes. So why y'all got messages talking about the first kiss? So you now? What are you talking about? <laughs> so you finna act stupid. Read the messages. He said something about he couldn't forget y'all first kiss. And you talking about when you see him at the gym later that you're going to get another one? So you now I'm not bro <laughs> what the is up like explain these messages because i'm really trying to understand I'm not I don't know how to explain it right now well i need to understand you know that you put in my health at risk if you just say that why do you have I'm message not, but I'm not like so why are y'all messaging each other about kissing and shit Bro, hurry up. You 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 gotta go. I need an answer. You you gotta go regardless. I was going through a lot and it was just somebody that there was just he was just helping me, that's it. That was all it was. It wasn't nothing like there wasn't nothing. So as long as we've been together, you felt like you couldn't come to me? You couldn't talk to me about the situation? I mean, no, not really. I couldn't talk to you because you were just always so busy. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's a excuse. So guess what? You can get your clothes. And you can get out. Come on. Hey, I'm not. Get your clothes and get out. I'm sick of this shit. For real. Hurry up. You're not moving quick enough. Let's go. You see how you're not even taking this serious, but I'm trying to tell you about I don't I don't want to hear it, sweetie, because I've always been in your corner. I've always been the shoulder that you could cry on, but obviously you don't trust me, so get the Man, out. Where's my keys? I don't know, but let's go. Come on, you move it too quick. You move it too slow. Let's go. Where's my keys at? I don't know, but guess what? I'll help you find them. Oh, here they are. Come on. Come on. Catch your keys like the dog that you are. Go fetch. Hey, I don't have nowhere to go. I don't give a damn. You can ask Derek. You can ask Chantel. Whoever. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I told you I'm not Just nope. You're not listening. We're done. I'm, I don't want to talk about it no more. We're done. Oh, Hurry please. up. Please. Go down the stairs before I call the police. I'm so serious. Hurry up before I have my brothers come over here and beat your ass. Let's go. Knees to chest, you're not moving quick, you're not moving quick enough. I'm done, I'm over you, I'm so sick of this shit. Babe, babe, I'm trying to tell you it wasn't nothing like that. Babe my ass, let's go, I'm...
Goodbye. 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 Get the f out. You dog ass, f ass. Oh my God, bro. I'm so f sick and tired of this shit. Like, for real? I thought I'd been with him for all these years. He over here texting and talking about kissing and shit. A violent robbery of a New Jersey mail carrier was captured on video. Two men are seen pushing the mail carrier onto the lawn. This happened in Milburn earlier this month. Police say the two have been following the carrier on his route along Walnut Avenue. Among the items stolen was a skeleton key, which opens mailboxes inside apartment buildings. Neighbors say the attack went down in a matter of seconds. These is five reasons why men beat women or physically abuse them. Now, here's a quick disclaimer. I'm not saying that I do this or I'm not saying that I approve of the men that do do this. What I am simply saying is the violent situation. So I'm just here to raise awareness on it. You know, this is basically for educational purposes. I'm not saying that I do it or don't do it. So let's get into it. Reason number one why men physically abuse women is because she don't know her place. When you when you a man, you know, men have an ego, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times as an ego, a man will feel like, you know, he's in control of the situation. He wants to feel like, you know, I run the show. And when a woman is getting a little too mouthy with him and, you know, she's not listening and she talking back and, you know, she challenging him too much. Sometimes that'll make him beat on her to just assert his dominance over her to let her know that, hey, get in place. I'm the one running the show. You need to listen to me. You need to do what I tell you to do. So that's one reason why a man would beat on a woman is to let her know that she don't know her place. Number two is that she didn't listen to a direct order or a command. Sometimes, you know, a man will tell a woman to do something or want her to do something. And, you know, she may not go through with it. She may not listen and she may not do what was told to her to do. So that now makes a man feel like he has to chastise her. Like like how a parent will chastise their child, that man will chastise his woman and he'll beat her. Because he want her to understand that, hey, when I give you a command, you need to listen. You need to do what I told you to do. Uh, Number three of why a woman would get beat on is because she cheated. You know, a lot of men are very territorial when we give you something. And when we, you know, we go out our way for you, we feel as if, you know, you owe us. So if I'm with you, most men feel like, you know, you're supposed to be faithful to me. If you give something away that's mine, that's supposed to be for me to somebody else. That's an ass whooping. So if you cheat, sometimes you will get your ass beat. The next thing is to control them. You know, you got some insecure men out here that just want to flat out control a woman. They just want to tell her what to do and they want her to be completely 100% submissive. And if you refuse to submit and you confuse, if you refuse to be controlled, you will get beat. That's the psychology behind it. And number five, opinions have changed. Back in the days, you know, in, in the old society, you know, if a man was beating on a woman, people would look at you different. But in today's society, men are not looking at it that way. A man could beat on a woman and people are not going to look at him like how they used to. Today, people are just accepted or just feel like, hey, that ain't my business going what they did. They won't really care. So being that opinions have changed, a lot of men are now becoming more abusive and feeling more comfortable to say, hey, I'm going to beat my girl because society will still accept me as a woman beater. I don't have to change. I don't have to feel no type of embarrassment. So those are five reasons why women in today's society get beat on and, and abused. I told, look, look at this bill. Bro, $7.17. I came to eat breakfast by my, my, my meal is only, is under $20. You invited me though. What the hell did you eat? Like, like, are you serious? Like, what did I you, what did you nothing. order? You see all my food is still sitting here. You ordered, you ordered extra, look, extra, why you gotta order your pancakes and bell pepper on your I eggs had, like that? That's extra how I like my loaded eggs. hash brown. That was another $10 right there. No, For no reason. Not. Like, come on, look, I'm telling you, you don't have to pay this bill. I'm not paying it. Let me see the bill. I'm not paying it. I'm not paying it. Look at that. $70. Okay, so oh, your what? breakfast was $13.99. So just pay for the whole thing. Plus your drink was $3.59. No, just pay for the whole thing. And you got scrambled Man, listen, bell pepper, just pay for the whole thing. I'm telling you. 60 cents. Oh, uh, oh uh, and you got a side of toast. What you need pancakes and toast for? Uh, what you mean? If I want to order some toast, I can order some okay. toast. What you mean? Ain't nothing wrong with that. 
Yeah. But my bill, I, but how, how did I bill with $70? I ordered the wings. Wings at breakfast, bro. Well, look, you look, look, look. She going to talk about I ate them. She knows she ate these wings. Look, I ate one. Look, 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 my look. bone is right here. Look, look. That's, no, no. That was mine right there, and this is her. This is what she is. So you gonna lie to the look, camera? Look, see? This is my one bone right here that I had. That one bone? Mm -hmm. But what about the look other bones you ate? You ate the rest of the bones, bones though. Wow. You ate the bones. You ate the bones and everything well, you else. Know what? I'm not paying this shit. You I bet you I ain't paying either. You ain't me, so you Man, listen, I am. I bet you. Wait till wait just come over here. I bet you I ain't paying it. My food is still sitting here on the table. Where's your food at? Listen, I, I bet you when she come, I bet, I bet you I'm not paying this too. I'm enjoying my coffee. Watch this here. Watch when she come, I'm not going to pay this. Too. I'm going to get right up and walk up out of here. You think I'm playing with you? Seventy dollars. Oh, look at this. I got a serious brother. Lady, come bring us receipt. Seventy dollars for what? What did we have? Look, she ordered an extra. What it was on an extra loaded uh, cheese and stuff, all this stuff on her eggs. Extra. Why don't you get it high come? It's still there. So return the fucking plate. You can't return it. How you gonna return? <coughs> this is how much you gonna return that food? You can't return it. Listen, stop playing, bro. Seventy dollars, y'all. Look at this. There's no way. No, ain't no way. Wait till when this waitress come over here. I'm telling you, it's going down. Why did you order all this though? Why? Why did you do this? You Why? told me to get what I wanted, and I got what I wanted. But, I, I mean, but you, but I mean, you didn't, you I didn't think to. to man, listen, man, you didn't think to just be like, look. I'm telling, I'm not going to pay this, man. Yes, what, man, listen, man, wait till the lady yes, come over you here. Are. You didn't pay it. You crazy? I'm not paying. Wait till the lady come over here. How do you invite somebody out for breakfast? Wait, 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 wait till, wait, wait till. How do you invite somebody out for breakfast and then don't want to pay it? Listen, wait till this lady come over here. I'm telling you, I'm, when she come over here, watch. No. If she don't take care of this, I'm gonna get up and walk out of door. Man, ordered. listen, man, you, you, you know what? I ain't got no money. I can't afford this. Well, Seven dollars, bro. Then you should I can't afford seven. That, that's like that's like almost. 25% of what so I get paid weekly. Make a bowl of cereal at home. Listen, man, I, we could have ate it. We could have sat at home and ate this here straight up. We ain't had to sit here and eat all this. You ordered all this extra loaded uh, uh, hash browns and bell peppers with eggs. You ate my carrots. You ate my carrots. Man, listen, I, I didn't know I didn't know there was going to be that. But then, like I say, you, you, you should look at this, man. God gave you a blessing. He, 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 when he made you, he made you white, okay? don't have to keep going through this with it was with us ain't shit niggas, baby you got a, you got a real choice in life i i know that flavor i know that flavor take good to you but man just leave us alone man we we ain't we ain't no good okay i'm not gonna say that no nah, say yourself baby. Baby, say yourself okay <laughs> okay you've been warned all right say yourself more of this story if you are a white woman please stop black man because like you gotta be a strong black woman to defeat black damn black black man black man like you gotta be a strong black woman to defeat black demons like us, okay? <laughs> like you, you just can't be doing that. Two K, you be shooking and jiving like a motherfucker. I get in, I get out. <laughs> I get in, I get out, baby. It, it, it is what it is. Uh, she she got an option in life. I don't know why the fuck she come on, baby. It's just man, go get you some good credit, man. <laughs> go get you some good credit. Stop playing with with our uh, credit. Name Craig for God's sake. What? <laughs> like, who what did you expect from a name Craig? All right. Black women, I also tell y'all to leave black men alone. <laughs> y'all don't like pink, what y'all tell me all the time. So I guess y'all. Am I the only person who remembers that time a little kid went missing and his dad did what any grieving father would do and started publicly pleading for the safe return of his son? The kid was missing for 11 days. Once all the leads were exhausted, the FBI came in and they rechecked all the previous evidence, including the house after neighbors reported potential abuse by the parents. And while this was happening, the father was literally live on Nancy Grace talking about how much he missed his son and how he doesn't know what happened to him and how he wished he could come home. That's when the FBI found a dresser in the basement, moved the dresser, found a room padlocked closed from the outside. They opened up the padlock and they found the kid inside of the hidden room in the basement while the dad was still live on TV. And within minutes, the news made it to Nancy Grace, who was still interviewing the father, and his reaction is priceless. You want to talk about the Oscar goes to? This man absolutely fell to pieces 
Check this shit out. Out to the father of the missing 12-year-old boy, Charlie. Uh, with me is his father, Charlie Bothell. Charlie, we're getting reports that your son has been found in your basement. Sir? Mr. Bothell, are you... Are what? You yeah, we are getting reports that your son has been found alive in your basement. What? Yes, that's what, if, if you could hand me that wire very quickly. Yeah, we're getting that right now from, from yeah, how, how could your son be alive in your basement? Uh, 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 oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> I have n I have no idea. I, 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 <sighs> now this is just a report that we are hearing out of Detroit that we're trying to confirm. Uh, oh God, everybody please. in New York, please get on it. Uh, let me know when we get Charlie Langton from WWJ. Uh, sir, did you check your basement? I checked my basement, the FBI checked my basement, the Detroit police checked my basement, my wife checked my basement, um, I've been down there several times, we've all been checking, how... Okay, uh, this, my... this is what we, what we are hearing, that uh, the missing 12 year old boy has been found alive and well in his father's oh basement. Now, this is what, I, I don't understand why you guys would have reported he's missing, and all our viewers He's have been, been for on the lookout for him. We've been we've been on the lookout for him. We searched that entire house repeatedly. The FBI searched, the Detroit police searched. We've all searched. Uh, uh, um, my cell phone is dead. Um, I, I'm and I actually getting down here. I left it in the car charging because it it it, it had it had it um it had died on me. Oh God. And you're telling us that you searched your basement and your wife searched your basement. I searched my basement. My wife searched my basement. The FBI searched my basement. The Detroit police searched my basement. Um, we've all searched my basement multiple times. Uh, I mean, we... Yes. They had the dogs search. We, we've all searched the basement. The dogs searched my basement. Oh, God. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to give you a chance to call home and see what you can find out. Charlie Langton, WWJ News. Uh, Charlie, we're getting reports tonight that the boy has been found alive in Daddy's basement. Yeah, Nancy, we just, we're just getting word right now, and we've just basically confirmed that, yeah, the boy has been found alive in the father's basement. And we're just getting reports right now that that is true. Uh, and, and literally, it, it just broke moment, broke moments ago. Now, why the boy, why the father didn't know about that for the last 11 days? Uh, what if the child was afraid? If there was any other collusion amongst anyone? What the child ate? All of those are questions that we are trying to get reports on right now. We understand that uh, we're sending news crews right now to the scene. Uh, we're also understanding that the police chief is going to make yet another announcement that should be coming up a little bit later on. But yes, the boy has been found alive in his father's basement. Bro, <laughs> understand. In, in, in the hood, where I'm from, there was mad R. Kelly's in the hood, right? There was dudes that'll be 40 messing with a girl that I'm in high school with at the time, probably C16, mm -hmm. seventh grade. So there's R. Kelly's in the hood, bro. Yeah. There's mad R. Kelly's in the projects in the hood. The whole difference between him is he was famous. Yeah. Mega famous. famous. <laughs> Mega so, famous. So from the beginning of the time, from being on a block, you'd be like, you know, a girl you be in school with and she got a dude coming to pick up in the car, he might be 30, 40. You know what I mean? It's it's the same thing. You messing with an underage How to girl. make a bony bitch gain weight. Guys, look, you want to turn a thin hoe into a Lizzo? Well, I got you covered. Number one, marry the bitch. A wedding ring is 6,000 calories a day. Don't believe me? Go ask the married man out there. Another thing you can do, get the bitch pregnant. This is an extra 30 to 40 pounds per child. Another thing you can do, is get her to start smoking the good shit and buy a bunch of junk food. Make sure you keep the unhealthy food in front of the healthy food. 
Bitches are more likely to eat their way through it than to go around it. Another thing you can do is tell her that you want to celebrate her birthday for two months and buy that bitch ice cream and cake every single day. Another thing you can do is say no to stairs and yes to elevators. Another thing you can do is try dipping her birth control pills in melted butter. Guys, look, I'm from the South. We don't marry what we can carry. Game is game. You ain't paid me my money. You ain't paid me my money. I'll get you off this camera when you give me my money. 15 minutes, 125. You know the drill. How many times a week we meet up, Joe? This time? This time, really, you think we finna? No, I'm sorry. Your wife gonna see this. Your wife is gonna see this. Pay me my money or get a divorce. Which one is gonna be? Give me off that damn Which shit. one is it gonna be? Give me off that damn shit. She's gonna know. Give me off that damn Three, four times a week he here, y'all. Facebook, he's here meeting with me in this room. Yeah. Give me off that damn shit. No, I'm not getting you off of nothing. Everybody gonna know about you. Run me my money. I ain't got time for this. You know my money is valuable. I'm sorry. You know my time is my money. And I... I I'll explain my two, time with you. I gave you 200 last time. And you got $200 worth of pleasure the last time, too. Uh, let me pay you when I get home. No, right. no. You ain't gave me nothing extra. You got extras. I'm sorry. No, absolutely not. Okay. This ain't happening. You're not, you're not leaving, Joe. Give me off that damn camera. No. Give me I'm, when you give me my money, I'll get you off the camera. You're getting a divorce. What you're going to get is a divorce. Everybody on Facebook is going to see this. Yes, his name is Joe. I did this. She'll know who you are. Everybody might not know, but she will know. She will know. You know, when you give me my money, that's all you got to do. Just give me my money. Give me my money. That's all you have to do. I'm sorry. 15 minutes for 15. Uh, uh, 15 minutes. 125. 125. You know the rates. You know the rates. I paid your ass enough to, for this shit to be free tonight. What? And you you have lost your damn mind. You ain't never paid me for nothing free. Whatever you paid me, you got your money's worth every you time. You've been satisfied. Do you hear me? You're not leaving this room. You're not leaving this room until I get my you're money. I'm sorry. No, I, you, I'm, you wife. I just, no, I'm joking. You're not leaving. You're not joke. No. Uh, uh, you're about to catch charge, y'all. No, you're not leaving. I'm right down here. I'm sorry. No, I don't. What? what? Yes, Joe. Joe, right here, has not paid me my money. I'm sorry. You about to get a divorce, Joe. I'm posting this. You think I'm playing with you? You think I'm playing Facebook. with you? No. Give me off damn face. You gonna be on there. You gonna be on there. No, everybody remember this guy. He beats me two, three times a week. Got a house full of kids. Got a wife that think he is a stand-up man. Always at work. Lie to her every day on the phone. Telling that he at work. He with me, y'all. He with me. He the reason why y'all showed on the bills. Y'all showed on the bills because of him. And now you think you're getting a discount, Joe. And that ain't happening. That ain't my problem. You worry about your bills at home? This bill, you're going to pay this one. You're going to pay this one. 125. You left your keys. Oh, okay. Well, I bet you won't be going nowhere. Uh uh. You left your keys. You're not getting in this damn room. You're not getting. What you gonna do? What we doing? What's this gonna do? You gonna cry about it? You're not leaving until you give me my money. So figure it out. You got to transfer something. What we doing? I'm driving. We got to go to the ATM. I'll take the keys. You're not getting them damn keys. This is the end, Joe. I'm not doing this with you no more. I ain't got time for this. I do not have time for this. I need my money. So you just gonna sit here? Look at him, y'all. Look at this man. It's sad. It's sad. If you can't afford this, then do not call me. Okay? Go get your ass for free. Because this gonna cost you. This right here, this gonna cost you. And it ain't cheap. Now, I got somebody to pay too. You know my people do not play this, honey. You know, you know. Excuse me. So this is what we doing? Really? This really what we doing, Mike? What you mean is what we wow, doing? Wow, shit. What you doing here? What am I doing? I live here. This yeah. is my house. What yeah, do you mean? You're not supposed to be at home right now. I so saw you on my work. doorbell camera. Yes, I live here See, too. See, you so crazy. Are you serious? This is what, what we doing. doing. This is really what we doing. So you upset? You're supposed to be at work right now, Mike. Get off early. You just started a new now job. You about me being at work. You didn't care the whole six months. You ain't have a work. Exactly. Work. I tried to help.
I'm doing? I did not your resume. I'm trying to find a job, and she was keeping me company. Are you serious? I did your. The reason you got the job now is because of me because I did your resume. Are you serious? That doesn't. That doesn't matter. You're wild right now. She was here for me. You weren't. Every time I would get here and wait for you, you were too busy. You would be working all day. You wouldn't even cook. You weren't cleaning. What? what? I was working 12 yes. hours shift to take yes. care and of you. I got myself for 12 hours. You didn't even check up on me. And you weren't doing nothing. She was here for me. She was here for me. Not you. 12 hours in she a day. She was here. She was the one that was keeping me company. She was the one that was calling, texting me, wow. and checking on me, and making sure I was good to go wow. while you was at work all day. You know good, yes. bro. Shakira, no. are you serious no. you right know now? Good. You Shak know good. You're no, I've been How taking care of you. How long was I supposed to wait for you? What? How long, six months? How long was I supposed to wait for you to get together? And yes. I did. Yes. Yes. No. Two days you later, you already here? About yourself. What? I only care about myself. You no. Two you days on a job yourself. and you here laid she up in a bed? Me. She was here for You me. ain't even got a check yet. And you stay here laid up in a bed in my bed? My best friend? Shakira, are you serious? You're wild. I don't even know what to say. You're disgusting, bro. My man. Can you stop recording? No. Everybody's going to steal you. You're a no good friend. I was to her about you. Are you serious? About me? When I've been helping you? Whole time I'm stressed out. You couldn't do anything. What about me, What about you? I'm taking care of you like you a big kid. You are grown. You not no kid. Shakira, really? And you knew that. You knew that. You sitting over here with him while I'm working to on our table on a roof over my head. You're wilding. It's the wrong word. Y'all are disgusting. You're, You're the good. problem. You're the problem. You're the problem. You're the problem. Wow. Yes. I can't believe you right now. You need to pack your stuff, everything. You don't got nowhere to live. You don't even got no car. Got no You've been driving live. my car. Are you serious, Shakira? You're really wow. You're disgusting. You don't know what this no good that put me through everything. And you're sitting over here with him and you knew that whole time. I mean, honestly, like I was going through a lot. He was going through a lot. And, and we just. What? It just kind of happened. I it wasn't been. on purpose. It wasn't intentional. Like, it was no intent to try to hurt you. But, I mean. So therapeutic. Because that's what you, my man, though. We've been best friends for 10 years. Are you serious, Shakira? Because I'm overworking and you know I've been stressed to take care please of him. Stop. Please stop. Get that camera off. No, I'm not taking the camera please off you because everybody's going to know that you're no good. good what? I've been because taking care of you yeah, for... Y'all yeah, have been taking care of this wrong man for over six months. For you than it is for me. What? It's yeah. embarrassing for you. You don't even yeah. have a car. How you going to leave from here? And... And we happy. Wow. We Shakira, happy really? You happy? Really? That's who you want with Shakira? That's who you want? Yeah. Wow, yeah. my best friend. You wasn't said, how long? Me. How long have y'all been doing this? I don't know. How long have you not been talking to me? How wow, long been I've been before? taking care. How long have I been taking care of you? How long have you been jobless? You? How long have you not gotten a check? When's the last time you had some money hit your bank account? And you doing this with my best friend? You was complaining at first, so what's the problem now? That I thought you had potential, my best friend. Nice. You're not even supposed to be home for another seven hours hang in my bed with nowhere to go. Go. I can go stay with her. Shakira, so you gonna let him come stay, stay with you? Stay with her. I don't need to stay with you. Ain't nobody All else. All I wanna stay with you after what you've been doing to me, after what you've been putting me through. At this point, you're looking. Wow. She talk. She, she talk. She, she gives me all the attention I need. Wow. And the way that I gonna say about yeah, my exactly. best friend, Shakira, really? So you gonna go take care of him now? You wanna be his mom? Okay, you just mad wow. Be with her. You need to go find you somebody. Mom, wow. Mom. Clearly, you, you have other issues. You don't even have nowhere to go. You're a bum, and you stay, standing there looking stupid. I'm the one Okay, Shakira, go ahead. Pack your stuff up. Take him. Take him. An extra, I, I got an extra two thousand dollars a month. I never needed you. I never wow. needed you. I was just bored. Okay. You kept me company. You were bored. Yes. You were also bored. homeless. You kept me. You kept cool. me company. Cool. I don't need you. You I also don't, need don't you. have a car. You have nothing. So you was more than just about. bored. You got to You not bored enough to make no money. You're Guess not bored what? enough to go to a Guess job. What? You can't I, even stay for a check. I was bored enough to want to leave you. Okay. You you haven't left yeah. me though. You're yeah. still in my bed with my best friend. We about and you sitting it. over there trying to cover up and stuff. Don't hide now because I because the world has seen you. Ain't no reason to hide. You should be ashamed. You're disgusting. I am embarrassed. As you I should be. Not, but I really think you need to get the camera on my face. No, the camera's gonna be in like, your face. Enough. It's there's no reason for you to hide. Okay, so everybody knows who you are. Ain't no reason for you to hide. Okay, and, okay. You and you okay. trifling. You're okay, a trifling I'll be that. friend. I'll be that. Okay, cool. Nobody wants to see you. That's fine. I don't, don't want to see you see anymore either. That's fine. Right. You don't have to yeah. see me no more. Oh, it's okay because I, I know I look good. I can get anybody no, I want. No, I stoop to no, your no. level you was to deal with this. No job. You cool. You want, I, I didn't have no job because I saw potential in you. That has nothing to do with my looks. That has everything to do with my heart. Whatever. Y'all both need to get out. You need to take his stuff since you're his mom now and get out my house for real. Because this y'all. This yours. Okay, and I am mad. I'm gonna be mad. Mad once you gone though. You this a weight off mad. my shoulders. Go ahead. Whatever. You gonna be miserable. Whatever. You, gonna, you been miserable. Whatever. Life. Look what you doing. You look ridiculous. Bye.
I you tell your girl two, three items, you really part, three, three clothing, one pair of shoes, gonna go to Goodwill. You, you don't have okay. nothing they else here. Know. They okay. You pay all of exactly. It. I sure did. You pathetic. Exactly. And it's all going to Goodwill. You don't have nothing. You probably got two more pair of clothes up in here. You pathetic. Yeah, you need to go. You need to get out. Shakira, you need to come out and get on out too. Bye. While she recording this. Bye. 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 Crib. You're a bum. Bye. With no more.